prepare for an OpenCAP data collection on the treadmill, first log in to the OpenCAP web application and start a new session. You will be given a QR code. Open the OpenCAP application on your iOS devices, and when you see the camera viewer, scan the QR code, and you should see the image flash on the screen or your iOS device will vibrate to tell you that it has been paired to the session. Once this is complete, you can mount your devices on tripods around the treadmill. In this case, we mount our cameras at 30 to 45 degrees from the line facing out the back of the treadmill. Depending on if the participant is forward or backward facing, you may need to add additional cameras. Once your cameras are mounted, bring the calibration checkerboard into the field of view. Remember to have it laying on its side and have it as close to the cameras as possible, but still in the field of view. It's best for the calibration checkerboard to be right where you expect your participant to be during the data collection. Enter the calibration parameters into the web application and click calibrate. For more calibration information, you can view our other videos. You will then be shown the calibration checkerboards, which you can accept or reject based on the information we show on the right. Once you're happy with the calibration, you can press confirm and move on to the scaling step. Enter the participant identifier that is preferably not their name, as well as their height and weight, and instruct the participant to stand in the neutral pose within the field of view of both cameras, with their toes pointed forward and their arms slightly out to the side. Click record and OpenCAP will record a two second video of them in this pose. You will be shown their images to be able to confirm the field view of the cameras, and you can then move on to collect data. If your setup allows, you will get the best kinematics by having the participant walk towards the cameras so that it can see their feet and arms at all times. Participants can walk and also transition to running. For the most robust collection, it is good to capture the treadmill slowing down before pressing stop on the web application. You can also collect participants walking or running away from the camera. However, their arms can pass in front of their bodies and be lost by the cameras, so you may need to add additional cameras to your setup, such that every body part can be seen by at least two cameras at all times. After collecting the trials, they will be populated in a trial list on the left. The color of the dot indicates the status of the trial. Orange indicates that it is still waiting to be processed in the cloud. Green indicates that processing has finished, and red indicates that there has been an error and you may want to recollect that trial. You can then click on the trial on the left and visualize the kinematics in the viewer. You can drag the 3D viewer around to watch the kinematics from any angle. You can also download this data using the button in the lower left hand side of the screen.